Government troops and allies have captured another town controlled by ISIL. The push into the town of Al-Kariatan deals another setback to the terror group. CCTV's Ali Ibrahim looks at what's next for this town. The fight is over, and the Syrian army has managed to retake Al-Qariyatayn, pushing ISIL out of the strategically positioned town that sits on a vital intersection of roads connecting central Syria with the capital and its countryside, all the way to the borders with Iraq and the oil-rich Syrian eastern provinces. And like many other cities and towns across the country, this one is battered beyond recognition. A cultural center that became an ISIL command center is now ruined. A school and a communication center that are no longer able to serve their purposes. Not to mention thousands of houses and apartments. The level of destruction we see in this town here in the Qaryatayn in central Syria casts shadows of doubt on whether the town's population can ever return here and whether the town can be ever rebuilt. Will these houses behind me ever be called homes again? Many think that a positive answer for this question is by far a long shot. The question of what is next haunts the mood here. The government knows that they might have taken the place, but now they are left with the task of rebuilding it, a task not to be taken lightly. The military is at the forefront of this war too. No civilian contractors would work here with ISIL less than 10 kilometers away. Because of the geographical position of Al-Qariyatin, the town is a very important link. It is the connection between the Damascus area and the southeast area of Homs. Minutes away from the town sits its famous monastery, with parts of it dating back 1,400 years. The monastery has been demolished, but not by the fighting. In late 2015, ISIL razed the place to the ground. And though the military operations had just ended, one community member took the risk of coming here. We left in 2015, and this is the first time we came back and saw the destruction and how they sabotaged the monastery, as you can see. Yahya is one of many members of Al-Qariyatayn's Christian community who were forced out when the IS came in August 2015. Their houses were confiscated and many of them were kidnapped. Today, returning to the place where it all happened might not be so easy. Militants dug up the graves in the monastery, leaving the dead bones outside, ruined any religious or historic symbols and rendered the place useless. By such acts, the radical group is not only aiming to terrorize the people here, but also change the heritage and demographics of places it controls. Many fear that the changes could be irreversible. Allah Ibrahim, CCTV, Central Syria.